Yesterday, I was playing in a master class, and one of the comments I got was to add more puh to my sound. And it got me thinking about how we bow and how much I associate the alphabet with how I start bow strokes. For instance, if we think of A, ah, uh, that has breath in it, ah, uh, there's not really a hard start to that sound, right? So we could play ah, uh, not a ton of core in an ah uh sound, at least to my brain. All right, and then B, 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 that definitely has more of a start to it, B, it's not super sustained though, B. This one's definitely harsher sounding than ba, right? K, k. And if I don't separate it, but I still think of it as k. Okay, duh. That to me could either be a long sound or a short sound, so it's a little confusing. Let's skip D for now. E. Uh, again, more air, more breath. Uh, uh, uh. Similar to A for me. F. F. Very breathy. F. Right, there's not a ton of core here. I really like this sound. I think I play with this sound a lot. G. 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 H, huh. Again, more breath. Huh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, now I played the same notes each time intentionally so that it was fair. Now, did you actually hear a difference or am I crazy? I'll have to listen back and see if I hear a difference. It is very interesting to think about. I think there's definitely going to be a clear difference between vowels and consonants, but then differentiating between each consonant might be, I don't know, harder to hear? We'll see. Anyway, I wanted to do this video because it was such a great comment and it was something I hadn't thought about in a really long time. And so part of what I do here on my channel is give myself mini tutorials or lessons so that I remember useful concepts when I'm practicing. So yeah, anyway, maybe this will help me play with more diverse sound instead of just one soundscape. All right, that's it for today. Happy practicing.